Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week I'm carrying on with the theme of Christmas in July, looking for those perfect projects to use at our Christmas market in December. So this week my project is going to be using my stash of buttons. So I can't wait to show you how easy it is to use buttons and turn them in to a cute flower bouquet. So I hope you stay tuned. I'll be joining you over at the workstation here in just a second. But hey, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks so much. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. And hey, you guys, if you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends. And down in the comments down below, let me know what other type of projects you would like. I'm always looking for ideas. So hey, give me a second, I'm gonna get my camera angle change and we are gonna get making and I'll meet you over at the workstation. Let's get started on this button bouquet. So let's go over all the items that you're gonna need for this project. I love to pick up buttons when I'm at garage sales or if I'm at a thrift store or just sometimes when I'm at the store and I see some cute buttons. So I've got this little um, box of buttons and I've already picked out a few that I wanna use. I've already made some flowers up for a bouquet, but I wanna show you how to put one together. So I've picked out a few buttons. I do like to use the buttons that um, don't have a back like this. They actually have the holes going through it. And I'll show you what the difference looks like when you use a button like this. You do want to grab some salt and pepper shakers. I'm actually going to run up to the Dollar Tree today and see if I can find some. Um, uh, but um, I did have these on hand, so I've got a salt and pepper shaker. Um, I've got some floral wire. Um, I like to use the floral wire, so I did pick that up. I just grabbed, these aren't normal needle nose pliers, but I just picked, grabbed a piece, a pair of needle nose pliers out of my um, toolbox. I am going to use some sand. You do not need to use it, but I'm going to put some sand in my um, um, salt, or salt shaker um, just to add a little bit to it. And then I grabbed a pen. The only reason I grabbed this marker pen is because I'm going to be um, doing some little swirls with it. So let me show you what I mean by that. I've already made up a bunch of flowers. So here are those swirls I was talking about. I'm just using the pen and the wire um, to put together. And I kind of think about this as a filler in our bouquet. So that's what the pen was used for, and I'll show you how to do that. And then these are a few of the buttons that I've already done. So these ones, let me see. These ones are all ones that have holes in them. And you can see they lay nice and flat. These ones you can definitely use, but you can see they've got the button that's got the back to it. I think they look cute as can be, they just don't quite lay as flat. This one really sticks out. And then this one um, sticks out too. But if you arrange your flowers right, you um, can hide those sticking out like that. So let's go ahead and get started and putting one together. So what I like to do is first, I like to take my wire and I like to bend it in half. And you can adjust the size of your flower once you get it done. And then I like to look at how I'm gonna lay my buttons. So for this group, I am going to go largest to smallest. And so I've got the four buttons right there. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put my top button on first. So it's as easy as sliding it right through the holes and you wanna bring it all the way up. And that's why I like to fold mine first. And then we'll just do our next button. And this would be a great project for kids, you guys. One of my goals was to um, find a project that we can use at our Christmas market this winter that doesn't use glue. 
And so this is definitely one. So see how cute that little button looks. Button flower, I should say. So now you don't need to use the needle nose pliers. You could just twist this with your hand. I just find if I grab it with the needle nose, I can start getting that twisting done. And then I can just twist with my hands. Now I have seen people using floral tape on their stems. I just think if you twist it enough, it looks just fine, but adding floral tape might be something that you might want to do. So see, all I'm doing is twisting it down, and so I've got a nice little stem there. So I trim mine after I start arranging in my bottle. So these will go with all these other cute little flowers I've already done. Now let's do one of the twisties. And this is super easy, you guys. All I'm doing is taking this marker pen, whatever size pen you wanna grab, and all I'm doing is wrapping the wire around it. And then I'm leaving a little bit at the bottom to be straight. Now I do like to take my needle nose pliers at this point and just grab that end and turn it in, just so it's not quite so pointy. And then you can stretch it out and you can do whatever you want with it. So we've got some little swirls. We've got some flowers all ready to go. Oops, let me get those in camera so you can see them. Got my swirls. So before I get started ranging, what I decided I wanted to do is I wanted to grab some sand. Now, I didn't have a funnel in my craft room, so let's see if Lisa can get this filled without having sand all over the place. Another thing you could use is salt. Uh, I, th I thought another thing that would be really fun is um, you can get colored sand. So that would be really fun too. But this is just gonna um, hide all those little stems that we've got. Then we just put the lid on the salt and pepper shaker. <coughs> the salt shaker and we're going to use these holes to do all of our designing so i am going to trim this one up it is a little bit longer and i probably should be using wire cutters but this wire is so thin so i'm going to go ahead and just place that right into the holes see how we've got and so you just kind of figure out where you want to put them and I like to space them out because we're gonna use the fillers. So I put one in the middle, and then what I'm doing is I'm filling the outer holes of my shaker. But you guys can do whatever you want. The fun part about using wire is once we get these all in here, you can turn your flower bouquet or your flowers and face them any direction that you would like. So I've got all different colors here. Um, you might want to do like more of a theme um, and do like, you know, all blue and red buttons or red, white, and blue buttons for the 4th of July. Just think about all the different combinations that you could do. I think I'm gonna leave this one out for right now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add in my fillers. Now you do not need to do the fillers. I just thought they added a little bit to it. And I really like using those middle holes to add in there. You can give it a little bit more height. If you don't want it quite so high, just push it down really, really easy. And there we go with our last one. Perfect. So now you can see I've got this cute little bouquet. I'm going to start turning mine a little bit so that the way, the direction I decide to face my bouquet, I'm going to shorten him a little bit. But how cute and easy is this project? So I hope you try this one out. Let me know what you think. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I just think it's really neat to be able to do up a whimsical bouquet and knowing that it's gonna last forever. 
So I'll give you a close-up view after I finish playing with it a little bit. But let me know what you think about this Inspiration Friday project, a salt shaker button bouquet.